Bucky Albers did an outstanding job once again. I remember when I used to think of him as that damn sports writer. No, I'm joking because Bucky and I have been close friends for 50 years. Now I'd like to introduce my wife, Mary. We just celebrated our 60th wedding anniversary last week. Next, our son David and our son Dan. Dan's wife, Sheila, is with him. Uh, our daughter, Sally Parker, is in, still in Florida. We have three grandchildren here, Brian, Lauren, and Eric, all Ankneys. In fact, we've had 12 Ankneys that have graduated from Fairmont High School. Now let's get started with the track team. Will all the track athletes please stand? Let's give them a round of applause. A track athlete is a special breed. You see, everyone talks in athletics of doing 100% or 110%. But much of the time, a track athlete's on his own. There's so many events and so few coaches. They have to do it on their own. <clears throat> the other coaches were Jim Hoover and Jim Ayler's. Now, Bill Smith is a special athlete that I'd like to talk about. I want to tell you how I met him first time. He was must have been about a sophomore and uh, Coach Puttington, we were having football practice and Coach Puttington sent me over to see what the managers were doing on the football field with all the footballs. Well, I get over here, they're kicking field goals on their own. They got a young kid with them and it's Bill Smith. Well, Bill did so well, I brought Coach Puttington over to watch him and uh, Bill ended up being our field goal kicker from then on. But now, as a junior, in track, Bill did not excel as much as he did his senior year. In his senior season, he set records at Fairmont in the 120 low hurdles in the broad jump also. At the end of the year, at the banquet, he was selected the most improved track athlete of the year. He went on to Ohio State and, and won a full scholarship. In his senior year, he was elected captain of the Ohio State track team and was the Big Ten Hurdles champion. Later he took up the decathlon while at Ohio State and after that uh, became one of the U.S. track team members and became the third best decathlon man in the United States. Had he not got injured, would have been representing the United States in the Olympics. Doug Latham was our captain. Now, Doug participated in the shot and discus. And at the end of our season in track, he was selected the most valuable track athlete. At the start of the year, I asked them all to run the 440-yard dash. Just a chance to see them run, to get their time, to see what kind of shape they were in. Doug happened to be running alongside of Trouble Garrett and Jim Goshel. And uh, Jim and, and uh, Trouble were just kind of cruising along, and all at once Doug thought, well, Hell, I'm the, I'm the captain of this team. I better finish right ahead of these guys. So at the end of the, the meet, he sprinted ahead of them and won the little race between those three. Really, this was his only claim to fame as a runner. Doug went on to Ohio State and participated in track with Bill Smith while he was there, Ron Fightmaster, and John Zeisler. One day, he was out running on the track and just happened to be running right next to the great Paul Warfield great track athlete and a great football player you all remember. Doug was just running in tennis shoes, not track shoes. It just so happened that the head coach at Ohio State, Larry Snyder, who was the United States Olympic coach in 1960, saw Doug running with Warfield and thought he looked like a runner. So that night he made sure Doug got new shoes and got to give him new shoes to run track in. John Zeister's here today, and although he's in the class of 59, he, he wanted to say some things about the track. But uh, he ran the 440 and the half mile. And one of the things he remembers most of all is uh, once at the Troy Relays, we put together a 4x100 relay team that set a Troy Relays record that lasted for 18 years. This track team actually at Fairmont, set six individual track records. Bill Smith in the low hurdles, 
Bill Smith in the broad jump, Doug Latham in the discus, Chris Carroll on the 880-yard run, Glenn Bartlett in the high jump, and Martin Pere in the mile run. Now Barry Weaver tells me he ran the mile faster than Martin, but there's no record to show it. For the season, this track team did some unusual things. Let me just tell you this. They were undefeated in dual and tri-meets. They won the Xenia relays. They won the Troy relays. Finished fifth in the great Dayton relays. Dayton relays is a tough place to participate. At the Miami Valley League Championship meet, we went into the final event one half point down. Our mile relay team had to come from behind to win. Not only win that race, but win the Miami Valley League Championship. So congratulations, track team. A great, great team and a great, great season. Thank you very much.